been prepping for their whole lives for this moment. This is it. Well, the Eagles, we have been the throwback unis. White uniforms here for Henry, and he'll start with it first. He'll get it out to the 19-yard line. And he will start with it first. And in this running meta we've had this weekend, putting points on the board first. Well, I think about a running game. Yeah, That's very, key. Yeah, very important to establish the run game, but also, too, clock management. You talk about five-minute quarters, uh, you got to be the master of the time. And I'll tell you what, guys. Well, Henry might have been watching the last game between his friends, Young Kiv and Sirius Moe and his other crew members. I went out in the back, and Mills was out there on an extra station with Young Tony, Mustafa Jones, that. Franchise yes. GG, and they were practicing. They were making adjustments. They were getting yep. adjustments, getting ready for this specific offense that Henry's running. Let's see if it could do anything. Oh, did you get ready what? for that? Are Ezekiel you Elliott off to the races. And they will finally force him down at the 23-yard line, not before he rips off 57 yards. Well, we talk about establishing that run game early, and this is it. You got Ezekiel Elliott, you might as well use him. The good news, though, if you're Mills, is you had him in the backfield. Zeke just being the good player he is just made a play. But if you see, the defense that Mills is having out here is forcing Zeke to make the play. There was not just a clear running lane right there. Mills making the adjustment, stacking that line as well. That's going to bring up a second and 11 here in an elimination game between Mills and Henry. Henry with a promising opening drive to start the ball game just outside the red zone. Better be very careful with them verticals. Ooh! Low throw and it's completed. Well, it seems like Mills is daring Henry to throw the ball. Yeah, you see all those goons in the box. That's a lot of beef up front and there they oh. go. Mills ain't playing. Brown comes off the edge. His second tackle of the game and forces a second and 17. This is how Mills plays defense. It's an aggressive style of defense. He sends the oh guards, but it don't matter. Pollard, the backup, the rookie, to the cribbo. Well, the Matt, I, I can tell you guys right now, the 16-year-old, he's got ice in his veins. To be able to run the ball with Pollard with the line stack like that, my goodness. So Henry on the board first with an opening 80-yard drive. And now Mills, the defensive specialist, is going to have to count on his offense to answer. That, that's huge right there if you're Henry. When you're going up against a guy that you know takes a lot of pride in his defense, he's really looking to get stops, and you can open up the game with a touchdown drive like that and establish the run. It's got to do wonders for your confidence. Let's see if he can keep this momentum going on the defensive side of the ball now. Let's throw back Eagles uniforms. And he's played well. So I'm not gonna lie, those, those those Eagles uniforms they they, they are they're sweet they're pretty it. sweet. They say you look good, you play good. Reggie White days, it's one of my favorite players to use in Madden Ultimate Team. Second and eight as Jay Ho will take it for two. And something to keep in mind as well is Mills is running the same offense that Joke ran against Henry in the last game. So Henry. Has this look fresh in his mind. It's a very similar offense, pretty much the same exact offense that he just beat in his last game. So well, you know he's got to be feeling good about that. Well, we talk about the congregation that Mills had prior to this game. It'd be interesting to see what type of adjustment he makes in his offense. You know, in football, we talk about the eye in the sky doesn't lie. That's watching film, being able to see what your opponent does. Let's see if he makes the adjustment he needs to get a touchdown here. That's a really good point, Akbar. And he did have joke in his ear telling him some of the things that may have been there are some of the mistakes he made. So it does work both ways. Good thing about Madden was he live, we live in a all 22 all the time kind of life they'll hand it off once again oh, this time it's nice. smallwood Ooh. who was came came down screaming down the hole i'm telling you lights alluded to it earlier these guys have special kinds of stick work out there not anybody's able to just shoot that gap and make the hit stick but when you're dealing with the young phenom henry he's able to make play after play in that situation but here's wow. milsey wide open is gibson 
And that will push it into positive territory to the 37-yard line. Look at Mills. He's just kind of shaking his head a little bit. This is a guy that is not going to get rattled. He thrives in the offline head-to-head -head environment, and he's shown it thus far in this tournament. Looking good so far on the opening drive. Stretch it out. No stretch zone. There's Smallwood again, who played his college ball at West Virginia. And the former Mountaineer will pick up two. Methodical. Well, I got to say, I went to San Diego State, and I just saw Mills pass over to uh, Pumphreys. Pumphreys can play. Put up a lot of yards as an Aztec. I had to give a little San Diego State love. <laughs> Where? Who? <laughs> Good defense. Ooh, nice. It went. So we get dropped. Vander Esch delivers the blow, and that brings up a third and 16. Tough right, place for Mills' this is offense. Crucial. Third and 16. You know he's probably going to try to. Uh oh. Call him timeout. Now nah, we're going to head to the. Oh, second, second quarter, quarter. Quarter. Okay. It's five minute quarters, man. You blink. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. You take goes a blink. Act bar. We're. And that's the adjustment I've got to make. <laughs> I've got to make the adjustment from the NFL to the five-minute quarter here in the championship series. You know, this game was supposed to start at 4 p.m. local time. So much running today. You know, way ahead of schedule. I don't want to jinx it. I would say knock on wood, but I, I think this thing's like a... Uh, this is like for Maker or something. <laughs> Compressed wood. This is a long field goal. 58 yards. Here we the go. Tie the longest we've seen on stream. Bang! And uh, real quick, uh, something I want to call out now, now that Akbar mentioned it is a lot of people watch competitive Madden and they're like, why are they always going for it on fourth down? That That's unrealistic. But it is because we're playing a five-minute quarter game. There's so little possessions that you need to maximize each and every one of them, and it forces you to play an aggressive style of Madden. Yep. I bet you could speak to it, Akbar. If NFL games were five-minute quarters, those coordinators would be going for it on fourth down well, a lot more. Absolutely. It comes down to time management, and the, the time really does indicate how you call um, your plays. I mean, you look at the adjustment during the preseason in that Raiders preseason game where they had to have a field that was shortened down to 80 yards. Yeah, yes. That changed the way they made their play call. They still had the same plays that they've been working on, but it changed the sequence in which they called it. That's a good real-life example, and that's exactly why in Madden you see these guys play a more aggressive style of football. It, it actually is the right thing to do. But it's also exciting to watch, especially when you're looking at this, you know, virtually Madden. I, I, I love the aggressiveness of it. I mean, look, we, we get so used to and get spoiled by watching the game, you know, in reality, but this, this is a different beast, and it puts more pressure. It's a little bit more added to it when you're watching. The drama. Couldn't agree more. 3.12 to go here in the half. You hear the voices of Akbar, RG, Scott Cole with you here on a championship Sunday. Well, I tell you, Mills is down super aggressive defensively. This is how he plays. He's going to stay true to himself on the defensive side of the ball. Well, he does expose himself to go up top. You see the bunch formation to the right. Quick oh, nice. The outside. And the big fella will pick up some good yardage there. More importantly, move the chains. First and 10. You saw Henry, he just put the controller down. That means he's just going to let this wind down to the two minute warning. And he may be 16 years old, but he's very smart he, and he's he, showing he you that he can, <laughs> yeah, he can he, manage that clock. Yeah, he knows clock management. Sometimes you'll wait and see if the other guy will put his controller down too, which Mills did. You ever, <laughs> you ever get savage? Right you ever get savage with a quick snap? <laughs> you know scum. what's crazy is I'm not even playing in this game, and I can feel it. I know so much is on the line. I can't. I'm very impressed the fact that Henry can handle this type of pressure. And there's Zeke. Doesn't get anything. Balanced offense so far. Here by Henry. Six rushes, four passes. And we're going to have a flag. That should be a free play. Oh, my goodness. And they'll play it again. I'll put that guy in the concussion protocol. Second and five after the offsides on the defense. So we'll play it again just a little closer this time to the first down. Austin with the motion. Wow. And can't get rid of it. 
And to Akbar's point, that's a, not just the time, the five-minute quarters. Another big difference in Madden football compared to real NFL football, there are no injuries. So you don't got to worry about your quarterback getting taken out of the game, losing an Ezekiel Elliott. And that makes you want to take more chances. You know you can take more chances like that. Exactly. Second, excuse me, third and 13. Pushed out of field goal range after that sack. So he goes nice. for a quick pass here. And I think he's still out of field goal range. Yeah, 60 yarder from there. And he's going to line up for it. This is a big kick. This would be a Pizza Hut Stadium record. Wow. Full power! Wow. Ultimate accuracy! What? And he knocks the field goal through for the record. That, 60. That is not an easy kick. The more power you put on your kick, the faster that accuracy bar comes swinging down. Not only did Henry get the full power, he also got perfect accuracy. He's just displaying phenomenal stick work all over the place, even in the kicking game. And let me say, for all those who think special teams didn't mean anything, <laughs> in reality, well, you Here better we you see and you're witnessing. Special teams means a lot. All three phases. Touchdown game here with one minute to go here in the first half. And there's Lane Johnson coming across the formation. Don't let him get on one of your linebackers. It's Van Der Esch able to come in to make the stop. Van Der Esch has been making a lot of plays. Clock on the move, 40 seconds to go now in the half. Second and 12. Wentz up under center. Nice pick up. And he'll go up oh, top. Lane, Lane Johnson! Johnson. <laughs> Try to hit him with a move on that one. Yeah, he did. That's I like thought a, that was going to be an interception, to be quite honest with you. That's like some Patriot scum. You, you think you disguise <laughs> the old lineman out there, you sneak him out in tight end. They had the Ravens throwing fits about that kind of stuff a few years ago. Oh, it's almost yanked! Byron Jones had his mitts on it. Couldn't haul it in. Yeah, Here credit, comes a punt. Credit to Henry playing great defense. And he'll just punt it away. 20 seconds remaining in the half. That's well out of bounds. And now Henry, you just don't want to make a mistake. You got to be careful here if you're both players. We've seen a lot of guys sneak up and get some points in this situation before half. So you can't go to sleep right here if you're Mills. Have to be careful. Henry is still dangerous in this situation. He'll bunch it up. He'll motion Tavon. Dak. Ooh. He's got time for a oh, moment, Cooper. but not that much time. Oh, my goodness. Coop was wide open downfield. Couldn't get it away, and he'll use a timeout second and 23. He's got to play maybe two. Look at Mills. He can't help himself. He's still sending. It is eight seconds left in the house. He doesn't even in the half. He doesn't even think about quarters. He's still just sending all the goons. And that's how the first half will come to a close. Henry, the youngster, with a 10 to three lead over Mills, the hometown hero. And Henry will kick it away to start the second half. I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting a halftime show. <laughs> Hey, if you want to do one, I'd be glad to step away. Have a couple of slices of Pizza Hut pizza. Of course, joined by Akbar, who's going to be hosting the show on, that's Friday the 13th on CW. I can't wait for that. That's going to be exciting. While you get the pizza, I'm going to go ahead and get the Nitro yeah, Cold Brew from be, Starbucks. Of course, showing you the road that we've had this weekend through the Classic. At, at what point during the show, do the guys climb walls and do the do the strength stuff? You, you guys have a setup in the back, right? Yeah, Haven't I know. Back right? there we have yet. a little setup in the back. <laughs> no, they're usually doing that in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, you see, we got RG over here, Akbar, Scott Cole with you. It's been just an incredible venue, incredible weekend, and we got a big third and four coming up here for Mills. Wentz up under center again. The Dallas Cowboys have a weak edge here defensively. He's going to flip the play. And he will stretch it outside, oh, and that's oh, a fumble. Oh. Wow, great recovery. Dillard had to scoop it up to keep it alive. Fourth and two. 
This is a huge play. Akbar called it out the edge, looking like it was open, and it was. The problem is Henry just so efficient with his user-controlled player, able to get over there himself, set the edge, and force the fumble. Big fourth down, boys. And you can see they bring the ends here on the three-gap. You got double three-gap guys leaving the edge a little weak. But look, I mean, you have control of your men. You can be able to squeeze down and, and cut off that edge. All of a sudden, you've got a solid front. Able to pick up the pressure, oh, but not able to goodness. pick up that guy. Demarcus Lawrence. Huge turnover on downs. Look at this fumble again, though. Actually, this is the no, it's just the a pressure. Break this the is the line play we just saw. That's Demarcus Lawrence, and I'll tell you what, boys, that is a humongous play because now Henry already in field goal range with a seven-point lead. You assume as long as he plays it safe here, he can just continue to milk this clock, manage the game, settle for three, and still be up two possessions. Well, Boise State had a good weekend where Demarcus Lawrence used to call home, dropping Florida State. I, I saw your reaction, Akbar, to the clock yes, moving yes, so fast. That. Yes, it, yes. It's, it's Henry. He's using a true clock feature, which allows you to just accelerate the play clock down to 10 seconds. So they don't. When you, it's a feature in Madden. So when you know you want to milk the clock, you don't got to sit there for all 30 seconds and let it wind down. Well, you read my you body language. Do it. I, I saw like, your no, reaction. My body language. <laughs> no, what are you in my head? <laughs> and, and the good thing is, if you're wondering it, there's probably viewers at home that are wondering it as well. So yep. that's why the clock moved like that. It was the true clock feature. Now he's going to hold A. He's already kicked it through the uprights here. It can't be blocked because he's got an accurate kick. It's up and it's good, and that's a two-score game. 1.18 to go here in the third. This game's starting to pull away. Henry back in this calm state. And you talked about this, Scott, earlier in the tournament. This is a tough place for Mills. He has that very run-first type of offense. It's a very ball-control type of offense. So now when you find yourself down two scores, uh, you kind of get out of your comfort zone. So this is going to be a tough place for Mills to respond in. And, you know, when you're out of your comfort zone, the way to get back into that zone is trusting the preparation and the process. Look, you've made it this far. You, there's a process that you utilize. You've got to be able to bring that because it's very easy to get out of your game and start being very reactive. you got to be proactive and play your game. That, that is very good advice, and that's what the best players do in real life, the best coaches do in real life, and that's also what the best Madden players do here in the MCS. Big time hit. Going to bring up a third and three. Feels like this is a must-score drive. At least points. Got to get at least three. And then he's going to need a stop. Final seconds here, the third. Gibson, a little bit of motion. Carson Wentz steps and throws, and there's time. Woo! And look at Mama Henry. I've got my eyes on Mama Henry, and she's a little nervous right now. Mama Henry pacing a little bit back and forth. <laughs> Which will tie the vertical threat tied in from a small college in Colorado called Stony Brook. First and ten. He'll hand it off to Scott. And he'll get a few. How about that? Eight rushes for only 12 yards. Yeah. Henry definitely found some run defense for this I, formation. And, and I think it's time that we give, I mean, Henry that 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 love as far as defense. We've talked about him offensively, but, I mean, he has really been the complete package. Third and five. He's using a ton of time. Trailing by two scores to Henry. This is the... Loser's bracket. Nice little spy technique. You saw him take Woods Woods and spy on that. That made Carson Wentz hold the ball a little longer than he wanted to. He was trying to find that guy dragging across. And with this kind of offense, you can't take a sack in that third down. If you get yourself in a fourth and manageable, your offense is built for That's it. Right. But it's not built for these fourth and 16s. Mills got his back against the wall here. Needs to get across midfield. To the 46-yard line. Wentz. Yes, okay, here's yeah. the scream. He's just got to get rid of it. Oh. And Ty comes wow. up clutch. Oh yeah, you know, it's funny. I thought Wentz was going to take the, the wide receiver, drag it underneath, and finds that tight end. That's good. That's a great play call. On fourth down, that might have just kept Mills' this oh, oh, my goodness. Scott to the outside. Oh, and then he fumbles. Oh, the ball goes. Oh, still loose. And Henry jumps on it. 
Oh! -na -na. And Mills is like, I'm dead. Oh Mills my goodness, sick. look at this. Mills is sick. This, this is all going to come down to time management. This is Henry's game. I mean, when you're running around with only a 68 overall halfback, a practice squad player, you have to avoid those hits or at least be covering RB. Henry makes some pay right there. That, that, that's a huge play. That might be a $5,000 hit stick for young Henry. And Snickers fumble on the Henry replay there. Might end up being the youngest ever to do it, huh? He would, if he was to win this championship belt, he would be the youngest player in MCS history to win a major. And Elliott's going to get to the edge. Oh. And this is oh, he's 88 out the gate. 88 over. out the gate. I thought he was going to hit that. I thought it was to the, to the house. Doesn't have that top end speed, but he gets all the way down to the 40 yard line. And it looks like Henry. It's going to be moving on, and Mills, although it's a short drive. I'm not going to lie, I love that lead, that lead right there, old school fullback. You don't see a lot of fullbacks. <laughs> you know, I think back to my time playing against guys like Lorenzo Neal uh, and playing with Lorenzo Neal. I mean, you know, I can't wait to see, you know, a lot of times you see these offense, they come back every, you know, six, seven years, you'll see that. I can't wait to see the fullback come back in. Hey, Andy Reid still uses a fullback. Yeah, he does. Patriots. Couple Patriots. Guys. Yeah, Patriots. They'll start them out wide, and then... Bring them in, last second. ers And Zeke will pick up the first down. It, but yeah, it's few and far between at the fullback position. And, and you know what, boys? We are going to have an all 818 boys top three. Three guys from the same crew and Sirius Mo, Young Kiv, and Young Henry are now on top of the tournament and the only one still alive. 13 to 3. That is your final. Right now is a 10 point victory. There for Henry. Wow. Of course, those 818 boys represent.